What's up YouTube? Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. Today is what? September 20th? Yes, yeah, September 20th, 2016. I'm right here at the Wissahickon Creek in East Falls, Pennsylvania, right on. Today we're gonna be fishing with someone very, very interesting. You guys requested it, so I'm bringing it to you guys, all right? It was very hard to get a hold of this fella here today. So yeah, you guys will see, you guys will find out soon enough. But anyways, I hope today we catch some good quality fish. You stay tuned because today should be good. Fellas, quick update here. I met with a local Philly legend here, the Trophy King, Chris from Sea Money Fishing. That's the dude that who we are going to fish with today. And as you guys know, if you guys have checked already a previous video on my channel where I teach you guys the steps on how to become this dude, you know that we're gonna follow those steps today, right? We got here the good old cooler. So as you guys may be guessing, you know, we're gonna try to catch some bait fish right now. And the plan for today is really to hit the Schuylkill River for some flathead catfish. We had a few inches of rain yesterday or maybe two days ago, I don't even remember. But the river should be good for flathead catfish. So, you know, we're here at a local Chris secret spot, you know. Oh yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just messing. We're here at the Wissahickon Creek, all right, catching some bait. There you go, good old bait right here. I'll take that one. On the trout magnet, cool. little rock bass. Rock bass. And you know, man, we, we gotta go get some and try for the big one. So stay tuned because today should be good. All right, getting little bait here, son. Little good old red breast sunfish. A good size for flathead right here, I would say. In the range of... Uh, five inches or so all right chubby that's for sure it's gotta be gotta be good bait for tonight let's put it in the <laughs> in the in the cooler and there you go oh man right a little bait again now i have to walk back to the cooler there we go into the cooler it goes Got a little variety of bait right here. Wow, no kidding. There's a one over there that is really fat, man. <laughs> That's gonna produce hopefully a big, <laughs> a big flathead. All right, come on, come here. All right, we've been catching these little fellas for quite a while now. A combination of uh, rock bass, pumpkin seed, and red breast sunfish from the Wissahickon Creek. We've been stocking up the cooler with bait for the mighty flathead catfish. So, you know, we're gonna fish here a little bit more, make sure we have enough bait for the night, and then we gotta go for some flathead catfish. Now, of course, keep in mind, right, this is the easy part. We're catching bait right now here at the Wissahickon. Hard part will be to catch the bigger species of fish, of course. Check this out, huh? Wow, got here some decent bait. Quick update fellas, we got done getting our bait for the day. We got about 20 sunfish in the cooler. Take a look. We got some nice sunfish. Oh my God, together with Chris's Gatorade. Oh boy, putting the Gatorade in the cooler. That's a, that's a risky move. <laughs> but anyways, we jumped from the Wissahickon Creek and now we are on the Schuylkill River. If you guys are locals, if you guys follow my videos, if you guys watch Sea Money Fishing's videos, right, Chris McIntyre, you know where we are at, right? I mean, you look at this bridge in the back, you just know instantly. So we are setting up our rods right now. I got two rods on this side. Chris got two rods 
on that side and we're gonna be fishing for about until sunset right now is about 4 p.m. so give it give it or take about three to four hours uh, Chris is giving an estimate that we're gonna catch at least five flathead all right I don't know I don't know about that he's being very optimistic okay but here take a look at the condition here in the river we got a lot of this green stuff floating down you know it's going downstream because of the rain you know but in terms of current it's gotten a little bit better it was 350 last week according to Chris CFS this week is about 2000 so you know we got a little current going on the flathead should be very hungry they should be very willing to bite okay let me get the setup started and we will catch some fish we're starting the day with a live sunfish here there we go, bang it right in the middle. I'm using three ounces weight on a slip sinker setup, seven knot hook on a pen pursuit to 8,000 and a beef stick, all right, Daiwa beef stick. This is one of the heaviest setups that I got here. And you know, since we're going for these nice flatheads today, hopefully the setup is going to hold. Second setup of the day is ready here. We're still going with this lip sinker set up as you guys can see all right seven knot hook but this one we're using a little cut red breast sunfish okay for all specifications of gear please read the description of the video i'll make sure to include all of those in the description all right folks so there you go punch it in the middle of the river typical flathead catfish let it go all the way release line i'm using cast king braided line on this rod right here over here at this spot, you do get snagged often, you know, so don't be surprised if we get snagged a lot today. But that's it, two rods in the water, you know, just adjusting now. Hopefully we will catch some fish. So, you know, whoa. Oh, dude, I just, I, oh, I only heard the line going. It's on? Oh man. He was little. He was very little. Yeah, I would expect the rod to move a little bit more if it's a big fish. Yeah. He was taking it real slow. But still, that's a good sign. Keep punching out there, man. We'll eventually, we'll eventually catch some. Yeah? Oh. Oh, come on. Take it. What? Yeah, I got one knock, man. Oh. There's some activity there. Yeah, yeah, there's some activity. Come on, take your fish. Oh. oh, it's off. Damn. It's off, it's off. All right, but yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna let it stay there. Oh, no way. The one that was snagged. Oh, son, that's fish on right there. No, the snag rod gets bit every time. No kidding, man. Joking, but that's that's an old trick. This rod was snagged for quite a while. It was snagged. Let me get the net ready over here. Ugh. Damn, dude. What if it's a big fish, man? This small net's gonna do it. That net is like way too small for this application. We will, we will try our best here. We will try our best. I'm just happy you got my snag out. Oh, uh, we don't need to net him. We don't need to net him? You sure? Yeah. It's a nice size. Dude, it's a nice size fish, man. You sure? Let me, let me see here. Let's see if you can net him. Uh. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Just to be safe. Right on. Uh. Right on. Whoa, dude, one fish on board, man. It took long enough. How big you think that fish is? Four or five pounds. Four or five pounds. Four or five pounder, yeah. That's a very small one for the Schuylkill River. Yeah. But we gotta see how accurate you are. Let me get my scale. All right. Four or five pounds. Yeah, I'm gonna say four pounds, two ounces. Four pounds, four ounces. It goes by dot zero zero, so not by ounces. It goes by uh, tenths of an ounce. 
It goes by pounds, just pounds. Pounds, yeah. So 4.25. That'd be what, four and a quarter pounds? Yeah, some, yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna say he's like, no, he's four, four and a half, four and a half. Four and a half, four, okay, four, four and, and a half Yeah, you go under the jaw. We can do like that? Yeah. Just like that. What? Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh dude, you you're pretty six, off, man. Six That's and uh a half. yeah, six off. six and a half, man. That fish looks tiny. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, all right. There we go. All right, six and a half. Six, not bad, not bad. Six and, a half. six and a half pounder to start the day. Green toxic rivers. Right down He's going to be just fine. Final update here, fellas. You guys can still see some stuff here. Beautiful sunset on the Schuylkill River. It's about 7, 7, 15 p.m. right now. It was uh, a tough day on the river, you know? And I mean, it was expected, you know? I, I you know, Chris's, Chris's prediction was we catch five flathead catfish. I had one bite on my rod. He caught one at 6.5 pounds and truth be told i think i think that was a good day you know even with all the rain that we caught recently this river is still at about 2000 cfs so you know the current is still pretty low we're gonna you know we're gonna stop right here go get some dinner it's been uh it's been a wonderful day but you know that's that's all we could muster for today what what do you say chris how was it I won't be flathead fishing anytime soon, let's put it that way. Dad, you guys heard it's a, the guy. It's slow, it's bad, it's bad. Chris is still gonna bring you guys wonderful videos on YouTube. Maybe not flathead fishing, alright, but he's got some good contents coming up. If you guys never heard about the dude before, please make sure to go check his YouTube channel, alright? Here in Philadelphia, I mean, I've known Chris for quite a while, alright? We first met on this forum online called the Philadelphia Anglers Club way back but anyways here in Philadelphia Chris is really our trophy angler you know he goes out there hunting the big fish and he tries to catch the big fish so since you guys complain a lot about my channel you know always small fish and stuff make sure you go go check his all right because there are some amazing catches over there I gotta leave this video at this. We gotta go get something to eat now. I hope you enjoyed this video. Tie lines and until next video, fellas.